It was uh, Gleet's first song. Me and Dave, me and Dave and Josh Wolf's like first band when, when we were all like little kids. I was like 14, Dave was like 15, and Josh was like 17. And I remember like we were so stoked to have this like one song, or I mean, at least I was. It was the first song we ever had, like full, fully written, minute and a half song, kind of thrashy. Well, when I was like 10 years old, I went and saw Metallica and Suicidal Tendencies. It was like my very first show. And I remember seeing like Lars. This is like when they had like long hair still, but you know, only for like six more months. And uh, I remember watching them play and I was like a little kid. And this is probably uh, 93, something like that, like 93. And uh, Lars was like throwing sticks and like they had him on like the teleprompter and everything. I was like, fuck, yeah, this is badass. Like, I wanted to play drums at that point. And then uh, later on, I really was just, like, influenced by, like, punk. So, like, I was just trying to play, like, fast punk when I was, like, 14 when I got my first drum kit. You know, like, listening to, like, I don't know, all sorts of stuff. Like, Green Day. Like, when I was, like, real little before I met Dave and Josh and everybody that got me into, like, you know, heavier stuff. I was listening to like Conflict and Green Day and, you know, Dead Kennedys, you know, like mall punk, Black Flag, anything that I could get that was punk when I was transitioning from like a little like metal kid to like a little punk rock kid. And then after that, when I started like getting into like grind and stuff, I was really listening to like a lot of dystopia and like spaz, you know, like Dino and Hyrax and Hyrax Max or whatever. Yeah. There was a bunch of bands, you know, like when I was a little kid. And then later on, since I was probably like a later teen till now, I listened to like a lot of Gride or like Japanese Grind. You know, not really necessarily one particular drummer. Maybe the dude from Warsaw. That dude was fucking fast. Yeah. My very first piece of music I ever bought, it was uh, with my allowance money when I was probably, I don't know, man, like nine or eight, maybe even a little younger. And I bought a, uh, I've actually bought two tapes at the same time at Willowbrook Mall at the Sam Goody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember Sam Goody. You remember that shit? Oh, yeah. Goody got it. And uh, I got a, what did I get? I got fucking. Megadeth Sym Symphony of Destruction and Metallica Master of Puppets. The most like wildest show I ever played, probably like out of town, I guess, through that. That Dream Shake show with Sex Bill in, in July was, well, that shit was crazy. It was wow. probably like on the same caliber as this like PLF show at uh, Speed Trials in 2008. Like you get the videos online, you can just see like chaos like the whole time. Dave had his fucking cord was just like sheared in half. It wasn't even like ripped out of the jack. Like the cord was like, just like force pulled apart. It was fucking crazy. I would say sophomore house, but to be honest, like trip six is like the same vibe. It's just like, hasn't been around long enough. And then like COVID like put a big like damper on that place, like getting off the, off the ground. But I mean, it's pretty much like going to be like sophomore house. Man, it would be as many bobs as it takes. Don't you want devoted followers? 
who leave their families for you, give their money to you, give their bodies to you, give up their lives for you, consider you God, and will kill for you?